in science and uh, being the first cause of all science, he believes that, that is degrading to God, as opposed to allowing human reason to explain the universe as we see fit. He thinks that challenging that is an insult to God, as we are not, we're sort of blinding ourselves from discovering what his true model is, and therefore we just humble ourselves. Do you think the uh, fake black theory will be taught by the Bush administration? <laughs> you know, uh, I have no idea what the Bush administration is on the big bang theory is, but um, I'm sure it's not too much about that. <laughs> Um, is there a, a cosmology for dummies or super dummies book? Uh, no, no, is there one or two books you've read that, that you recommend to people who are not really steeped in the physics or the math? Uh, let's see here. A good book that I found is actually really dense and quite broad in scope. It's called The Time Table of Science. It literally starts at 20,000 BC and goes to about 1995, and it chronicles every major person, every major discovery, and every field of science and mathematics. <laughs> uh, while that sounds like it's really intimidating, the fact that they have so much information in there that when they get to specific topics, it's usually very accessible information. It's really easy to understand. Uh, and so if you have a ton of free time, you want to read several thousand pages of books, you by all means. Uh, I would also recommend this book. It's called Cosmos and Psyche, Intimations of the New World View. Uh, in this, Richard Tarnas sort of examines how our modern worldview has come to be, beginning with the Copernican Revolution. Uh, in fact, it's so broad and sweeping in scope that everything I needed, as you can tell, came about the first thing. <laughs> and beyond that, we got into philosophy as a letter that was well beyond the scope of my project. It's truly astounding. I wish I had time to read all of it, but finishing the project sort of took precedence. But uh, now I plan on reading past page 64. So the universe is expanding because of Einstein's constant? Is that well, the universe is expanding and Einstein is continuing to expand because of Einstein's constant. Yeah, it's more of an abstract. Um, like, somewhere, I think somewhere I heard that the universe is uh, slowing in expansion um, and will eventually stop in expansion and shrink again. Right. Um, so is that, is that true? Or <laughs> um, right now, no. Right now we think that it's accelerating uh, and that it doesn't appear to be slowing down in any manner. Before 1928, Einstein and George Lumpre, who is believed to be the father of the modern Big Bang, came up with uh, a theory that they called the oscillating universe, in which they claimed that if space has a certain density, if space has a certain amount of matter, like each cubic meter, that the gravity within that density should be enough to stop the universe and bring it back in. Uh, leading to what they call the Big Crunch, and they theorized that that Big Crunch would lead to another Big Bang, hence the oscillating universe. However, they came up with no proposal as to what that density might be. They came up with no calculations as to what that density might be. Uh, modern observations or modern attempts have been made, but as far as we can tell right now, distant objects are accelerating faster away from us, and therefore the whole search for that density is largely being left behind. The scientists refer to the realm that the universe is expanding into in any sort of measurable or quantifiable way? No. And if you and from my research, if you ask one of them, they'll probably be quite upset. Did <laughs> <laughs> you comment on your own psyche as you learned more and more about this? I mean, was it exciting or was it just depressing to realize we don't know anything? <laughs> don't know well, about uh, that whole depressing big thing idea is I mean, something that most of us have grown up with, so it's not that shocking to, uh, at least in my generation, at least it's not to me. Um, but as for the, I, the reason I did this entire project is because I read a book called An Intimate Look at the Night Sky, and I thought it would be about constellations, uh, star charts, that sort of thing, 
but he jumped into Eratosthenes and the Atomic Age, and three quarters of the book was talking about just how curiosity in the stars, how curiosity in essentially dots of light in the sky has changed the course of humanity, and really that's what spurred me on to do it, and as I've said, my goal was for you to look at the next step and I wonder. I certainly appreciate it much more.